Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today I'm going to show you how to stack a multi-tier cake. And this is the way that I do it. It's the easiest way, okay? And I've never had any problems. Um, this is my camo cake. It's a peat camo cake made for um, a girl's birthday. She's turning 18 today. So um, what we're going to start out with are straws. And I'm just going to use yellow. So the cake is chocolate, and i got to sneeze. The cake is chocolate, and um, I want to make sure that they see the straws. Of course, I will tell them, but I also want to make sure that they see them. Now, you want to cut your straw a little bit below, okay, but not much, but a little bit below your cake line. All right, and I use four straws to do this. So I'm just going to cut. Oh, was that perfect or what? Did you see me throw that at my cake? <laughs> it's early in the morning and uh, um, I'm on very little sleep. But anyway, okay. Ooh. All right, so we have our four cut. And now all we're going to do we're going to push them into the cake. Now, it's important to know which side is the front of your cake. And this is going to be the front of my cake. And I want this tier in the back. Okay? So, I'm going to put it in the back. And um, let me get it situated and we'll be right back. So, I did find the front. And now, all we're going to do is I'm going to put this toward the back of my cake. All right? But I still want to be able to do a border, so I want it to come uh, just a little bit in front of that uh, back ledge. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but you want to make sure, and just push all the way down into your cake, okay? And it's going to go just a little further um, in. Okay, just so you can see that. My counters are a wreck. I'm trying to get this cake done. So, uh, but I did want, I thought it was important to show you guys how to do this. Okay, and so then I'm just going to plop two more in. Alright, and I'm just going to kind of gauge it. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect, but this will support the cake. I've done a three tier cake with this method and have not had a problem. Now, my top tier is on a cardboard round Let's see if I can get up without dropping it. Ah! Cakes are heavy. Alright. Now. <sighs> Here is the final part where I've got the front of my cake. We're just going to just, uh -oh. it's okay. I love making mistakes, you guys know that. I just lifted it back off, it's not a problem. I do want to be able to see the back though, so I'm going to turn it just a touch. So I want to be able to see the ledge. I want to have enough room to get a border. So if we mess up this bottom part of it, it's not going to be a big deal. So just enough for a border, all right, just like that. Okay, I'm going to get this um, situated and then uh, I'll be back. If you guys want to know what the finished cake looks like or you want to see it, go to my channel. I will have it uploaded. Um, and, um, but that's it. That's how you stack it. Um, it couldn't be more easier. So anyway, if you have some questions or some ideas, definitely, uh, leave some comments below. Uh, we're just going to go ahead at this point because it's kind of done. But, uh, if you do have any comments, definitely leave them below. Thumbs up. Uh, share me with your friends on Twitter and Facebook. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching.